So in this demo, I'm going to be talking about negative space drawing, which is a very helpful technique if you're struggling with drawing a more complex object. I'm going to show some examples and we'll kind of briefly talk about the sketchbook homework. So often inside of my intro to drawing class, I'd come in and it would be a still life like this and it'd be pretty complicated and I'd get kind of lost in the sauce, lost in all the stuff going on. And it was hard to kind of cite some things. Some objects might be a little too complicated or overlap to be able to understand. So one thing I found out that was really helpful if you draw the negative shapes, these in-between shapes, it might be easier to focus on kind of the weird triangles and stuff that you see than it would be to focus on all the different straps and bike tires and horns. So let's look into negative space drawings a little bit. So the reason for this exercise, it better helps us to understand the ratio of figure to ground, because if you start to shade in all of your negative space and you realize that it's all black, you're going to understand that figure to ground relationship a lot easier. Uh, it's also going to help us break down complicated shapes and better understand them. So if I was going to go draw some plants and I was really struggling with them, I might first draw those negative shapes. Or this goat boy over here, he's pretty complicated. I might be having trouble getting the horns to look right. So instead of focusing so much on all the details, focusing on the legs that overlap, I might just focus on the shapes in between the legs. So that's what we're going to do with this type of drawing. We're going to start off by drawing the in-between spaces and not the actual figure. And then we're going to shade it in from there. So we're going to use our viewfinders. Maybe you do some thumbnail sketches to make a good composition. You can do sighting, but what we're drawing today, this exercise, is we're going to have no interior contours. So it's just going to be shading on the outside. So the steps you're going to take to do a negative space drawing is you're going to be working with graphite. You're going to do a contour line drawing. So you're going to be siding to get more accurate proportions, trying to find the right angles. Then you're going to go erase all of your finding lines and siding marks. And we're going to use a softer pencil, softer graphite pencil to kind of shade the background, that negative space in black. So we're going to black out the background. If you got spray fixative and you want to use it, you can definitely spray stuff down so it doesn't get smudged. And we're going to document it and put it up on canvas for sketchbook points. So over here, you can see there's an easel. There's some chairs stacked on top of one another. You know, that's usually a pretty classic still life when we're doing this. And that person is focusing on not so much the chairs, but the gaps, the spaces in between the chairs. So our sketchbook homework might look something like this, where we have a chair. Um, we can see all four of its legs. It's kind of facing at us at a three quarters view. It's not looking straight at us. It's not from the side. And the background has been shaded in and all the foreground has been erased. So we could be doing something like this. So if you've watched this video all the way to the very end, you've unlocked a second option for sketchbook homework. So you can draw. You know, you, the chairs in your dorm or your house, but maybe you're bored with drawing those. So the other option is, is you could go draw one of the sculptures at the sculpture garden on campus. So our building's right around over here. Here's the quad. And if you go right in front of the beat back, there's a ton of different abstract sculptures. And some of them would be really perfect for this project. So you can go there, if the weather's permitting. If you're not, you know, near DSU, you can definitely just be working on chairs at home. You don't have to come, but if you want a little bit more of a challenge, if you want to get some fresh air, go over to the sculpture garden. There's lots of good sculptures to work with. This one called the wind harp would be perfect because it's got a lot of negative space. So find something that's going to be a little bit more challenging. Find something that's going to have some good negative space. This guy right here, he spins. You could go get on this and uh, take a ride. It's like a merry-go-round and do a good negative space drawing for me. And I'll see you next time in class.